What's up, Fit Fam? Welcome back to Forzag Fitness with myself, Matt. This is the Get Strong program, class number one. If you're here, you're here to build strength, and I'm here to help you with that. Now, this is an eight class series. We need to do each class one after another, and who knows, maybe you'll even do this program a second time to build even more strength. For this class, we're gonna need one set of dumbbells. I recommend a medium set. I'll be using a pair of 25s if that helps you out. But with that being said, guys, let's start off with this warm up and let's build some strength. So let's start at the back of our mat. We're gonna have inchworms for 30 seconds. We're gonna work on opening and mobilizing our hips. So when you're ready, long legs, soft bend of the knee. We're gonna drive or hinge our hips back, hands on the floor. We're gonna walk it out in three, two, one, let's go. So inchworm. I want you to focus on the hamstrings as you walk it back. It's a stiffer leg. Feel a stretch in your hammies. Stand up nice and tall. And then as we walk it out, I want you to think about gripping the floor with your hands, digging your fingers into the ground. Feel the ground. Understand the control you have of your upper body. All right? Strength starts with control. So walking it back out. Let's get one more. You're going to stay in that high plank position. We're going to start mobilizing our hips in three, two, one. One, let's go. So right leg outside our right hand, you can drop that left knee. I want you to shift your hips forward and just create these circles to the outside. All right, we're gonna be here for 30 seconds. In about two seconds, you're gonna straighten your left leg. Ready, three, two, one. Straighten the left leg, take your right elbow, drive it to the floor, and then open all the way up. All right, so we're gonna add a little thoracic rotation or as they call the world's greatest stretch. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side in three, two, one, other side. So again, hinging that hip forward and just working it back and forth. So over this series, guys, we're gonna focus on many different techniques. Some you may love, some you may hate, some you may have done before, all right? Maybe some things are new to you. Maybe you're like, oh, I've done that somewhere. Well, great, we're gonna implement these. We're gonna really take them to that next level and show yourself that you're capable of much more. You are stronger, you have it in you, right? We're gonna add that rotation in three, two, one. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna be here for five more seconds. We're back on our feet, and then we're gonna go back into that inchworm. Here we go. Inchworm in three, two, one. So we can just walk it out of that plank, stand tall. Maybe we speed it up a little bit, right? So in this workout, very low intensity work. Our heart rate may increase because we're moving from movement to movement, that's fine. But big thing about strength training is adding load to the body, being able to endure a stimulus over time. All right, bring it back down, high plank, hip opener in three, two, one. This time we're gonna step right and then step left. So again, as I was saying, it's all about how much load we can hold on to over a period of time. That's what's gonna allow us to get stronger, right? Those two seconds you wanna give up, hold for those two seconds longer because that's how much stronger you're gonna become. That's it, good. We're gonna take it right down to a four on plank in three, two, one. So now we get to the good stuff, right? Matt, how are we going to track progress? How are we going to know we're getting stronger? Well, maybe the weights, maybe the amount of reps we're doing, but at, at the end of each class, we're going to see how long we can hold a plank for, right? A plank is a full body movement. If we're training our body from head to toe, the plank should get easier, right? We're building strength all over the body. So we're going to focus on this plank going forward, but we have one more round of this warm up. So we're winding our feet. We're going to go back to that inchworm in three, two, one, go. So now just move a little bit faster. Good. All right, round three. Want you to really feel what's going on with the body. If you feel like your right leg's a little bit tighter than your left leg or vice versa, I want you to stretch that leg out a little longer. I want you to push back and just hang out down here. Shift side to side. You have 10 more seconds. That's it, good. Five seconds. We're going back down for that hip opener, but this time our feet are gonna stay outside our hips. In three, two, one. So feet outside our hips. We drop the hip, lift the chest. Shoulder blades are back and down. Crab walk it around here. Drive your elbows out, pull your chest up, and just get comfortable down here, all right? I always say, mobility is strength. Strength is mobility, right? If we can get into a better position, we're gonna be a lot stronger in that movement. So a lot of times in these workouts, we're gonna do mobility-focused things. 
it was only to help you not see what's tight and what, what you hate the most, but to see how much better we can become in a positional standpoint so we can build that strength a little bit easier, be more efficient, right? All right, we're dropping it down this last 10 for a plank hold. Get ready in three, two, one, let's go. So now we're back to the plank. Let's talk about that plank. Shoulders over elbows, hips, shoulders, heels are in line. Our glutes, core, thighs are tight. We're squeezing. We got 10 more seconds here. So each week, our plank hold is gonna increase, right? We're always gonna add time to our plank to see how much longer we can hold. So this week, only be 30 seconds. Probably not the craziest, good. But we'll get to something crazy. We're stopping in four, three, two, one, and rest. All right, awesome job, team. So starting off first block, it's gonna be 30 seconds. We need our dumbbells, so grab your dumbbells and you're gonna join me. We just have a forward lunge for 30 seconds. After that, you're gonna follow me, but I just want you to move nice and slow. So standing up nice and tall, shoulder blades are back and down, core is tight. We have forward stepping lunges. Here we go, in three, two, one. Big step out with that left leg. Knees are 90, chest is tall. I want you to think about pushing into that heel, stepping up, and then controlling down. So these aren't fast. These are just starting to fire up the hamstrings and the glutes. Understanding the mind to muscle connection. I want you to think about the muscle you're actually working here, right? Your legs. It's actually a real thing. All right, let's get one more. Our right leg is going forward and it's staying forward in three, two, and one. Let's go. So now we start to add those techniques I was talking about. We're gonna have a three, two, one down and a one up. So you're gonna join me. Ready? Three seconds down. In three, two, one. Pause at the bottom, explode up. Repeat. Three, two, one, explode up. Now, so we're adding tension on that way down. We're making it harder to resist, right? It's called the eccentric portion of the lift or the down or the, the resisting part. The part that's normally easy where we don't control, yeah. I want you to fight that position. Good, we're switching the other side. In three, two, one, other side. Good, so again, it's a three, two, one, pause, explode. Three, two, one, pause, explode. So we're thinking about that hamstring and glute. We're thinking about the power of our heel pushing the ground away from us. Yeah, let's get one more in three, two, one. All right, so quick shake out. Now, we're going overhead. It's gonna be a minute long, all right? Some overhead pressing. So when you're ready, let's grab these dumbbells, bring them up in three, two, one on our shoulders. So. Dumbbells on our shoulders. Feet outside our hips, our thighs, our glutes, our core is braced. Your big exhale. And then we're going three, two, one, down, right back up, right? So, overhead pressing, overhead stability. This is what builds abs. This is what builds core, right? Not sit-ups, guys. So I want this to be the toughest. I want this to be the hardest movement. We have 30 more seconds. But one thing I want you to think about is when we're overhead, when we're coming down, we're not here. We're not getting soft. We're not getting loose, right? We're nice and tall. Our glutes are tight. Our rib cage is down. Think as if we're standing up against a wall. Good. You have 15 seconds. Just think. Three, two, one, up. Three, two, one, up. Here we go. Resting in three, two, one. One, rest. Awesome job, team. 30 seconds, we're going right back to the top. We're repeating this all over again, but now, we're just gonna hold that lunge a little longer. I just want you to challenge the down, or the eccentric, right? Going to the floor, resisting your body, the weight, gravity, pushing you down. I want you to fight it, to feel those legs, all right? So back to the legs, we're gonna move forward. Get ready. So, big focus in this workout today, not gonna be legs, all right? Here we go, starting off with that lunge in three, two, one, let's go. So round one, we've already done it. 30 seconds, just lunging. So big focus today is not our legs. Big focus today is our upper body. Majority of the people in the world, not pointing anyone out, I'm just saying majority of people, lack upper body strength, right? So each one of these workouts, as they roll out, will be focused on a different body part. It may be overloaded more in one than the other, that's fine. You may not be as strong one day as the other. That's fine too, but that's why we're working at it. Good, right leg's coming forward. Three, two, 
one. Here we go. In your head, I want you to go. Three, two, one, pause up. Three, two, one, pause up. Good, so all your weight's loaded on that front heel. Don't forget that. Don't shift back because you're getting tired. The whole goal here is how much tension can we endure over this period of time, right? We're getting strong. Don't run away from it, run to it. Switching sides in three, two, one, switch. So that muscle should feel shaky at the end of this workout, right? We've pushed against the weight. We've resisted. We've challenged. We want to fight it. We should have those shaky arms when we're washing our hair later. I know what you, I know you know what I mean when I say that, right? You can barely reach in the fridge to get the milk from the back. Good, last one, rest. So on all these pressing movements today, I need you to really resist. I want you to move slower. If you go five, four, three, two, one, instead of three, two, one, that's all I ask of you, right? Fight it as long as you possibly can. We're going overhead one minute again. All about the midline here. This is what's gonna hold us tight. This is what holds us up. So dumbbells up, let's go back to that press. Three, two, one, let's go. So big deep breath in, rib cage is tucked, punch, control. Now, the overhead press. Let's talk about the overhead press for a minute, right? Let's take our mind off this for a second while we keep it on. But overhead press, it's the hardest strength movement to build strength in. Right? We're pressing weight overhead. It almost feels like we're going to get crushed. But the overhead press builds the most strength. It is the hardest for anyone, but we're using so many more muscles to get that weight up and then control back down. So I want you to think about that. Every time you press overhead, take a second to control it. All right? 10 more seconds. We can get one more in here. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one, time. Nice work, team. Nice work. All right. We have a little 40 second recovery here. All right. Just enough to shake out the arms, shake out the body. We're taking it down the ground. Now, it's all about chest press, close grip press, negative push ups. I don't know if you see the trend going on here, but that's what's going to happen. So, when you're ready, I want you to lay flat on your mat. Just listen to me. Maybe you sit up and watch me. I'll demo our first two movements and we'll have a little break. So, feet are flat, dumbbells right by our side, our elbows on a 45 degree angle. For 30 seconds, we're pressing, all right? Elbows hit the ground, we explode up. Elbows hit the ground, we explode up. From there, we put them together, and now we create that three, two, one close grip press, all right? So, laying on your back, dumbbells over our chest, we're pressing 30 seconds. Here we go, in three, two, one, let's go. So, control down, elbows hit the floor. I want you to forcefully drive the dumbbells away from the body, right? Think about this explosive action. We're still maintaining a tight position. We're not coming off the ground, but we're adding extra force by pushing our body into the ground to get dumbbells away from our body. Good, let's get two more. And then we're putting the dumbbells together. Ready? Three, two, one, dumbbells pressed together. And now we add three, two, one, press. Now, not only are we holding them over our chest, we're controlling them down. But we're thinking about adding tension, pushing the dumbbells into each other. That's what I need you to focus on. So if I came in your living room right now, which you probably hate because that would become a one-on-one -on -one personal training session and when I'm in person, I'm no remorse, all right? I want you, if I try to pull your dumbbells apart, you won't allow me. One more. Here we go, in three, two, one, rest. All right, dumbbells down by your side. We're flipping it over. Push-up position. Now, one minute negative push-up. So back to that eccentric, all right? Level one, we're on our knees. Shoulder blades are rotated back and down, hips are extended, and we're controlling. Five, four, three, two, one. We get down, I want you to come up however you want, all right? That's on your knees. If you're on your toes, same thing. Five, four, three, two, one. Come up, it's not about the up push. All right, we'll get there, but not today. Today, it's all about controlling the eccentric. I want you to really fight. You should be shaking by rep number three. That's how slow and controlled you're bringing yourself to the floor, right? I don't want you to meet the ground. Last thing you want to do is blast your face off the floor. If you get there, great, you've done it right. But that's not what we're encouraging here. We want to find the, the shake, the struggle, the resistance of the body coming down on the ground. 
can make anything harder just by slowing it down. Good, five more seconds. Here we go in four, three, two, one, rest. All right, we have a 30 second recovery, a little bit longer, but we've already pressed overhead. We pressed out in front and now the negative push up. So we wanna give our body a little more time to rest, right? As we fatigue these muscles, they're not gonna recover as fast, especially in a strength oriented workout. So you have 10 seconds. I want you to flip over and get ready to lay back on the floor, but just be ready. You don't have to move yet, all right? Here you go, five seconds. Now you gotta move. Let's get those dumbbells up over your chest. Here we go, in three, two, one, let's go. We have that press right up, and then we're controlling down. Now we start to add tempo. Explode up, control back. Nice. Good guys, and breathing is your best friend in any strength workout. Breathing will allow us to get tighter. Therefore, more muscle recruitment, a harder push, more force is what we're trying to achieve here, right? Good. Here we go. Pushing our dumbbells together in three, two, one, let's go. So, controlling back down, pressing right up. Controlling down. Again, squeeze these dumbbells together. I want your whole entire upper body firing at the same time, feeling every single contraction. We're here to build strength, right? So it should be strenuous, it should be tough. You should be shaking from the start to finish. Good, three, two, one, rest. All right, last minute here, push-ups, all right? Then we let the upper body chill for a minute, and then we hit the legs. So, when you're ready, five seconds, high plank position. I want these push-ups, I want you to start on your toes. If you didn't start on your toes, start on your toes. Do as many as you can from there, and then we'll move down to our knees if we need, right, guys? As I mentioned, I don't know if I mentioned, but low option. Always a winner here. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Good, nice and slow, nice and controlled. So low option on the push-ups, especially for eccentrics, is beautiful, right? We burn out the high option. We can no longer hold on to our body weight, our strength. So what we do, drop to the knees. Just lighten the load just a little bit. It's like taking some plates off the barbell. You didn't cop out. You're just allowing yourself to get more reps in over time. But what's gonna challenge that is how slow we go down. I want it super slow. Slower than you thought you could go. Nice. Let's get one more. Here we go. Three, two, one, rest. Wow. All right, team. Awesome, awesome job. We're gonna let the upper body pressing chill for a little bit. Always gonna let it chill. All right, we're gonna go into a little lower body, some rowing and some core, all right? So this is where now midline stability starts to play a bigger role as opposed to the overhead work we've done, all right? Every class will always end with some type of core or throughout the workout we'll always do some type of core, right? The midline is what strems our extremities, right? comes off the midline like an apple core. So the stronger the core, the stronger extremities are gonna be. So big focus is core. And we may not be doing straight core focus movements, but they're gonna be the, the important ones, the ones that we don't actually like doing, all right? So start to love them. Here we go, guys. Let's grab our dumbbells up. We're going into a squat. So dumbbells on our shoulders. We have a three, a quarter squat to a full squat. It's gonna look like this. In three, two, one, join me. So butt back and down, chest is tall. We're squatting down slow. Come up three quarter of the way, slow down. The bottom, explode up, all right? So here we go. Slow down, fast, three quarter. Slow all the way down, fast all the way up. Again, all about that midline now. Chest is up, the weight's on our shoulders. We need to control, we need to brace our core. Whew. All right, we got one more. And then we're going down to the bottom and holding. Whew. Get ready. We're coming to the bottom of the squat. In three, two, one, go. So, squat hold, chest is up, core is tight. If you need, get rid of one dumbbell, hold the other right in front of you. But this is what I was talking about. Different techniques we're gonna add in. You have five more seconds that are gonna make things much harder. In four, three, two, one, rest. All right, quick shake out. We're gonna pick our dumbbells up, bent over rows now. So real quick, as in five seconds, grab your dumbbells, 
We're hinging from the hip in three, two, one. Butt back, long spine. We're rowing both dumbbells up at the same time. Ready, set, go. Dumbbells up. Right one's gonna go down. Hold up, left one's going down. Good, so now we're really focusing on that midline. We let one go. We don't want our shoulders to rotate. Our hips and shoulders stay in line the whole time. We start to build that lower back, our spinal erectors, our shoulders, our lats, right? Five more seconds. In four, three, two, one. Good, dumbbells go down. Drop it down, high plank position. We're going right to the floor, so join me. In three, two, one, high plank. Now, feet are wide, glutes, core, thighs are tight. So all we're gonna do is a, a hold. All right, we're gonna essentially build up to a one-handed plank, but right now, all we're gonna do is challenge the obliques. So, you're gonna lift your left hand up and put it down. Lift your right hand up, put it down. Left hand, right hand. So things to think about here. I'm squeezing my thighs and my glutes every time I lift. If I lift my right hand, I shouldn't rock to the right, I shouldn't rock to the left. Nothing should change when we lift the stabilizer. Good, three more seconds. Two, one, rest. All right, we're going back to the top. We're doing that all over again. So that high plank, guys, the last move we just accomplished. Biggest thing to focus on are obliques. When we lift the one hand, our body's gonna ultimately rotate right to the side that's already stabilized. Fight it. When you lift one hand, why don't you take your hip and close it towards the floor? Because it's gonna open up, it's gonna disengage. So I need you to stay tight, stay engaged. So back to the top with those squats. Last time we're going through it. If you need to get rid of one dumbbell, get rid of one dumbbell. That's all right, we're building strength, baby. I didn't say you gotta come into this with strength, right? We're gonna leave with it. That's why we're working for it. So here we go, dumbbells back up, sitting back and down in three, two, one, let's go. So controlling down, hit the bottom, three quarters of the way up, controlling all the way down, fired all the way up, stand tall. Good. Three quarter, all the way up. There it is. Get 10 more seconds, Let's get one more. We're going back to that squat hold for 15. Here we go, squat hold in three, two, one, let's go. If it makes it easier for you to hold the dumbbells right in front, do that. It might be even a better position for you. Good, 10 more seconds. Hold it, hold it, hold it, fight it. Push those heels into the ground. Chest is tall, core is tight. Three, two, one. Wow. All right, five second recovery. Shake it out. We're going back to that bent over row. Shoulder blades are locked in, get ready. Dumbbells are coming up. In three, two, one, less row. So again, we come up first. Squeeze, control. Big, big focus here. Think of as if there's a dollar bill between your shoulder blades. Someone's trying to pull it out. It ain't gonna happen because your shoulder blades are pinched together the whole entire time. Good, you have 15 more seconds. Once you think about always driving those elbows as far back. Your core is tight, you have a long spine. Your chin is tucked, staring at the ground in front of us. Good, five more seconds. Let me get one more each side. In four, three, two, one, rest. All right, team, back down. High plank. We're lifting that hand up. I want you to lift it a little bit taller now. So, meet me down, high plank, here we go. In three, two, one, let's go. So we're pulling that left hand up. I pull that left hand up, my body's gonna shift right. I want you to close that hip down. Put it back, repeat, right? So now we're almost doing like a renegade row with no weight. Just lift it as high as you can without compromising our position. Five sec, uh, 15 seconds, sorry. My clients always tell me I don't know how to count. It's not that I don't know how to count, I just wanna watch you work a little bit harder than you thought you can. Here you go, three, two, one, rest. Woo. Awesome job, team. Made it into that final strength block. Today's final strength block is revolved around core. All right, so as I mentioned earlier in the workout, we're always going to incorporate some core into our workouts, right? Again, the midline, Everything strums off the midline. So, the stronger our midline, the stronger our extremities, right? We'll always test our strength weekly by a plank hold. Now, 
plank hold can be done many different ways. We're gonna do a forearm plank. We're gonna focus on being super engaged the whole time. I always say, 10 seconds into the plank, you should be shaking because we're not just holding it, we're engaging. We're staying tight, right? We're controlled. So let's drop it down on our stomachs. We're gonna start off with the lower back and the glutes with some supermans. 30 seconds, laying nice and long. Here we go, arms out in front, head tucked down. We're going in three, two, one, let's go. So right arm, left leg lifting up. Left arm, right leg lifting up. All right, so I want you to think your toes are tucked. You're lifting from the glute. You're not bending at the knee, right? We're coming tall and down, up and down. Good, you have five more seconds. We're flipping over. You're gonna join me in four, three, two, one on our backs, right knee into the stomach. So I want your right hand on your right knee. Left leg long, rib cage tucked. And we're squeezing. We're thinking about connecting our rib cage and our hip. Now, I want you to let go of your right knee. Reach for your heels. All right, reaching for the heels is gonna help keep that rib cage tucked down. If it's too easy, bring your arms back. But if you bring your arms back, I don't want your shoulder blades to hit the ground. Need your shoulder blades off the ground. Good, all we're doing is switching our legs in three, two, one, switch. So this position, the banana position, the shape we're in, it's called a hollow hold, all right? Low option hollow hold, we're just decreasing the amount of tension that we've allowed to be off the end of our body by pulling our knee in. It's gonna allow us, again, to hold a little bit longer. So 15 more seconds, just squeeze, just breathe. In about 10 seconds, we're flipping over right into a 30 second plank hold. Coming up in three, two, one, let's go. So our first test of this workout. Now, I get it, it's the, at the end of the workout. Matt, how are we gonna test this at the end of the workout, how? Because our final week, we're gonna test in the beginning, but right now, we're gonna try and challenge ourselves, we're gonna exhaust ourselves. So when it comes to do that plank, it's gonna feel easier when we test it, all right? So I want your thighs tight, your glutes, your rib cage, everything. I want you to your elbows and your toes pulling together. I want you to shake this whole entire time. Good, we have five, four, three, two, one. All right, one down, one to go, and that's all you got. So, 10 seconds, we're going back to those Supermans. All right. That plank hold, we're gonna take a little break before we go into it, and we're gonna hold for 30 seconds, that's it. All right, so back on your stomachs, we have those Supermans one last time. Let's fly away, let's go. So. Back on our stomach in three, two, one. Fly away, baby. So we should feel the little small part in our lower back and our glute when we do this. This is one of the more important exercises that no one does. Oh, I saw that in PT. Yes, they were doing that in PT because it stabilizes the little muscles around the lower back. It allows us to stand up taller, better posture, stronger glutes. Good, flipping over in three, Two, one, right into that hollow. Hold, right knee in, left leg long. So many different variations of this position. We'll get into those later on in this program, but not today. Today, start very basic. We learn about strength, we learn techniques, we learn about different movements. All right, switching, three, two, one. So just as one side starts to fire up and get tired, we get a quick switch. Whew. That's it, 10 more seconds. We're gonna take a quick shake out. We're gonna hit that plank for 30 seconds. Good, here we go. In five, four, in three, two, one, rest. All right, last but not least, 30 seconds. Now, we've already done a whole workout, all right? We should be fatigued. 30 seconds should be tough, let's go. Forearm plank, palms down, shoulders over elbows, nice strong line. We're going in three, two, one, let's go. So 30 second plank hold, our thighs are tight, our glutes are tucked under, our rib cage is down. I want you to pull your elbows and your toes together. Think about crinkling your mat inward. Good, we have 10 more seconds. So our abs, we should feel our abs right now. Essentially, we should feel our whole body, but our abs the most, because we just fired them up. Good, five more seconds. Four, three, two, one, time. Wow, 
Team, take a second. Awesome job, grab some water, towel off. That's all we have time for today. 30 minutes strength work, packed it in, all right? We're effective and we're efficient. Now, after this, I want you to stretch out your hips, your upper body, get an upward dog, downward dog, stretch out your core. Show up this week, get ready for the next workout, and let's continue to build strength together. We'll see you later.